Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. O Son and Daughters, let us sing. The King of Heaven, our glorious King. From there today rose triumphant. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, this is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. And Jesus Christ now invites us to the table of the Word and table of the Eucharist. So now as we prepare to celebrate the Sabbath mysteries, let us call to mind our sins. We offer this Master intention for uh, Loreto Rafael Tajera. Lord Jesus who was sent to heal the contrite, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ Jesus who came to call us sinners. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord Jesus who feed us with your body and blood. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. And we recall year by year the mysteries by which to the restoration of its original dignity. Human nature has received the hope of rising again. We earnestly beseech your mercy, Lord, that what we celebrate in faith, we may possess in an ending love to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The high priest is rose up, and all his companions, that is, the party of Sadducees, and filled with jealousy, laid hands upon the apostles and put them in the public jail. But during the night, the angel of the law opened the doors of the prison, let them out, and said, Go and take your place in the temple area and tell the people everything about this life. When they heard this, they went to the temple early in the morning and taught. When the high priest and his companions arrived, they convinced us and him and full sickness of the children of Israel and sent to the jail to have them brought in. But the court officers who went did not find them in the prison. So they came back and reported, We found the jails securely locked and guards stationed outside the doors. But when we opened them, we found no one inside. When the captain of the temple guard and the chief priest heard this report, they were at a loss about them. And to what? this would become. Then someone came in and reported to them, the men whom you put in prison are in the temple area and are teaching the people. Then the captain and the court officer went and brought them, but without force, because they were afraid of being stoned by the people. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Response to Psalm. The Lord hears the cries of the poor. I will bless the Lord all times. His praise shall be ever in my mouth. Let my soul glory in the Lord, and lowly you hear and be glad. The Lord hears the cries of the poor. Glorify the Lord with me. Let us together extol his name. I sought the Lord, and he answered me, and delivered me from all my fears. The Lord hears the cries of the poor. 
look to him that you may be radiant with joy and your faces may not flush with shame when the poor one called out the Lord heard and from all his distress he saved him the Lord hears the cries of the poor the angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and deliver them taste and see how good the law is blesses the man who takes refuge in him the law hear the cries of the poor alleluia 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 god so loved the world and he gave his only begotten son so that everyone who believes in him might have eternal life. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory, Lord. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son so that everyone who believes in him might not perish but might have eternal life. For God did not send His Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world might be saved through Him. Whoever believes in Him will not be condemned. But whoever does not believe already been condemned, because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. And this is the verdict, that the light came into the world but the people refer darkness to light because they work towards evil. For everyone who does wicked things hates the light and does not come toward the light, so that he works might not be exposed. But whoever lives the truth comes to the light, so that his works may be clearly seen and done in God. The Gospel of the Lord pray to you Lord Jesus Christ so the gospel today is continue the account of Jesus meeting with the Nicodemus so we hear the passage repeat again God so loved the world that God sent his only begotten son so that all who believe in the message of the Son will not die and perish, but will share eternal life. So God come into the world to save the world, not to condemn it. So after right, right from the dead, Jesus sent disciples to preach that good news to all the people. And today the readings, the apostles, the attitude of the apostles reflect on the message in today's gospel to those who do wrong refer darkness and why those who do right you act in the light of the day so after the angel released the apostle from the prison at the sun rises the apostles come back into the openness during the day in the temple and to preach the message of Jesus to all the people. They do not fear the agent of darkness and deceit. For the apostles know that they are in the light. They're working in the day and they're working in the way of Jesus. So are they one with Jesus sent by God? So they do not fear. They do not afraid condemnation by religious leaders or by anyone. For they know they have eternal life. So we are challenged by the readings today to take a step of our faith. We must be willing to be risked persecution or mistreatment 
on denial for relationship with Jesus. So let us continue to pray for ourselves, for one another, that we will be able to take the stand and the relationship with God. So may the risen Lord bless us and be with us always. You know, trusting in God's love, and we offer our petitions to Heavenly Father. We pray for universal church, Pope Francis, or leaders of the church. May we bring peace, faith, and union to all the people. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for peace in the world. Our leaders of government, may they bring peace, justice, and harmony to all people. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the elders, the sick, the homeless, those who are abandoned, those who are addicted, for the unborn, for victims of war, violence, natural disaster, for all the the people, the victim of pandemic COVID-19, may God help them, heal them, and be with them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we pray for all those who have gone before us in faith in Jesus Christ's resurrection. May God in His mercy and compassion forgive them their sins and bring them to a heavenly banquet. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, you are our refuge and our strength. Listen to our prayers and grant to our needs. We ask this in the name of Jesus, the Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you food of the earth and work of human hands, you become for us the bread of life. Let us be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, work of human hands. You become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. My brothers and sisters, and my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice in your hands for the great glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, who by the wonderful exchange affected in this sacrifice and made us partakers of the one supreme Godhead, Grant, we pray, that as we have come to know your truth, we may make it ours by worthy way of life, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God, his right and judge. It's truly right and judge our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all, to laud you yet more gloriously. When Christ our Passover has been sacrificed, he never ceases to offer himself for us, but defends us and ever leads our cause before you. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more, the lamb once slain who lives forever. Therefore, overcome with Paschal joy, every land, every people, a source in your praise. And even the heavenly powers, with the angelic hosts, 
sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. That is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down the Spirit upon them like a dew fall, so that it may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and pray from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have helped us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Timothy Dolan, our Bishop, Auxiliary Bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs the eternal life and may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, that he'll be done on earth as it's in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, that we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from out the evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, that we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom, the power, and glory are yours now and forever. For Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and gracefully render peace in unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord to be with you always. And we just pray. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world have mercy on us. Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world have mercy on us. Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold Him, who takes away the sins of the world, blesses are those who call to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my room, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. I have chosen you from the world, says the Lord, and have appointed you to go and bear fruit, fruit that will last. Alleluia. Let us pray. Graciously be brethren to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Master and go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thank you all. May very good uh, day. You may God bless us all. Amen.